is Akani from Prosperity Finance. Share the best financial tips so that you can be more successful with achieving your financial goals. Today, uh, I'm going to invite my colleague Alex uh, not to talk about anything uh, with the finance. In fact, uh, we like to share with you some housing policy between uh, Labour Party and the National Party because uh, potentially they'll help you uh, to make the right vote. Without further ado, let's welcome Alex. Hello, Alex. Hi, Connie. Uh, Hi, thanks Alex. for the introduction. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll probably just do a quick summary um, on the policies from Labour and uh, National Party. Yep. Um, Cool. So we'll uh, probably start with the simple one from Labour. Um, some of the uh, some of the uh, actually almost all of the uh, policy items are they they, they are all like existing ones. Um, so Labour um, promised if they are re-elected in this uh, election, they will carry on the um, current policy, which they are calling it a five-point plan to support new housing during the um, this special time, you know, the COVID the COVID nineteen uh, environment. Um, so, what what are these five points policies? Um, we'll start from the first one. Um, this one, the first one, is actually um, called a, a residential development response fund, uh, which was introduced in August this year. Um, to combat this um, economic uh, impact from the COVID-19 um, uh, pandemic. So Labour said that they will um, continue uh, to support the construction through this uh, fund to enable builders and developers to apply for support to help them uh, to get more of these drop down. Um, then for the second point, uh, Labour said that they, they will uh, develop an additional 18,000 um, public and transitional houses uh, by year 2024. So that's in about four years time. Um, uh, they will add on another 18,000 uh, uh, houses for the public, uh, public house uh, sector. Um, then the third point uh, from Labour is uh, also a continuation of the current policy that supports first home buyers. Uh, so this includes the uh, first home grounds uh, and first home loans, and also the progressive home ownership and the Kiwi Build scheme. Uh, so these policies will be carried on uh, if they are re-elected. Then uh, the fourth point um, is um, actually uh, related to the construction sector accord, which was a policy developed uh, in 2019 uh, between the Labour government and the major, the leaders from the construction sector. Um, so this uh, policy is uh, to uh, improve uh, the productivity uh, through the collaboration between the government and the sector, the sector leaders. And the Labour promise will carry on uh, with this work and to um, increase the output of the uh, housing industry. And lastly, uh, the fifth point is a very interesting one. Um, so the labor is uh, planning to remove the planning barriers and the residential uh, to cons uh, residential construction, uh, which includes replacing the current Resource Management Act uh, to reduce the cost and the complexity of the construction process. Um, and a further note to this point is that for existing homeowners, um, the labor governments were also scraping. Uh, scrapping the need for consents uh, for low-risk building works, uh, such as the slip-outs, sheds, and carports, um, which also will save the homeowners uh, when they uh, decide to um, uh, further improve the value of their home, uh, and also to shorten the consent building consent process uh, when homeowners trying to make minor home improvements and uh, uh, make it more affordable uh, to those people. Yes, yeah, so basically these are the five points that the Labour Party say they will uh, continue to implement if they are re-elected. Um, um, then compared to Labour, National uh, Party, they have a very comprehensive policy uh, document uh, uh, which contains about 10 pages. Um, but to summarize, they also have these five uh, key aspects that they will implement if they are elected. 
Um, so to start with the first one, the first one was actually um, a, um, what they called uh, immediate, um, let me see, yeah, they called it a immediate plan. So this will happen within the first 100 days um, uh, if they are elected. Um, so they, within the fifth, uh, first 100 days, they will amend the current uh, Resource Management Act, which is very similar to the first point of the labor policy. Um, and how are they going to do this? They will um, immediately uh, pass a emergency legislation, uh, which includes four key aspects. Uh, the first one is uh, the, uh, to immediately ask all the uh, local uh, council to open up to 30 years worth of growth and urban development plans. Uh, for developers uh, to and, and council to plan for the future city development and zoning. Uh, then they also propose to suspend, suspend the appeals process uh, so district plan can be completed uh, right away. So shorten the uh, district plan um, uh, uh, planning process. And fourthly, uh, this uh, legislation will um, also suspend the requirements for infrastructure to be built prior to zoning, which accelerates the zoning process. And lastly, the fourth point is streamline the resource consenting process, again, to shorten the uh, time needed to develop new housing and uh, build new houses throughout the country. Uh, so this is the uh, first point, the first policy that la uh, the, the National uh, Party will implement. And secondly, the second point um, is uh, that they will repeal the Resource Management Act. This is more, to, uh, this is more like a medium to long-term um, policy. Uh, and they will replace it with two different, uh, two separate acts. One is called Planning Act, and another one is called uh, Development Act. Uh, and there's no uh, details to those two acts yet, but still this is a very interesting uh, proposal. And it's also very similar to the fifth point that labor policy mentioned about. And the third point from National is that uh, they will enable community housing providers to build more social houses um, by setting aside $1 billion uh, to fund um, the uh, the building process for more social houses. And the fund will come from the existing Housing New Zealand borrowing facility for community housing providers to access. Um, then they, uh, let's talk about the fourth point. Uh, this is more to do uh, with the first home buyers. Um, so if you don't have lots of deposit, uh, the National, is propose, National Party is proposed to have a new scheme called rent to own or a shared equity scheme uh, to allow people with uh, le a little or no uh, deposit uh, to own their house by gradually uh, paying off the, um, the, uh, the, the purchase price of a uh, property um, uh, while they're renting or um, sharing a house with other people. And, and lastly, uh, National Party also uh, proposed to address the state housing waiting list and to shorten the time that people need to wait uh, if they need a, st a state house. Uh, so how are they going to do this? Is they going to um, reinstate uh, the um, public housing tenants review process uh, to identify people that are no longer needed uh, to stay in a public house? Uh, to make it vacant so that new uh, people from uh, on the waiting list can actually move in and uh, to shorten the uh, whole waiting list. Okay, so that's uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, it's a brief um, summarize of the policies from both parties. And I hope uh, you find it interesting and also informative. Um, Thank yeah, you so I'll much, Alex. You, Thank you very much. Yeah, I can see that there's some uh, different focus uh, from each party, but there are also some similarity, uh, such as uh, share to own uh, kind of scheme that help yep. first home buyer who cannot afford uh, first home uh, under the norm, traditional method. Uh, they can get into the uh, housing market uh, as soon as possible. 
and also about the resource uh, consent act uh, some improvements there so uh, it's really welcome news um, yes. they, they all help people uh, uh, make it more affordable uh, make it faster to own a property so uh, but yeah definitely some uh, uh, different uh, focus as well so hope it's uh, insightful hope uh, that help you uh, make an informative decision and uh, make the, the right vote Thank you so much. And thanks again, Alex. Thank you. Bye-bye.